Hi guys, so this is part two of my making my own simple RC plane vlog journal thing. And I just thought I'd let you guys know that I actually recently got Real Flight Simulator. And it's great because now I can actually practice and get better. So I won't crash my real plane when I fly it. And as you can see, I'm an absolute master at this. I'm really good already. I'm just kidding, I crash all the time still. But hopefully I'll get better soon. Now, the first thing that I did after uh, completing, you know, cutting out all the parts in the last um, video was strengthen the tail, like the elevators, with uh, popsicle sticks because um, at the base of the tail, it was actually really, really thin and would easily have snapped in an act in actual flight. And so I reinforced it with hot glue and with popsicle sticks. And now it's a lot sturdier. Now, after doing all this, I moved on to the main body, which consists of three long foam pieces. So I glued these together, and um, I didn't realize until after I made this video, but they were actually completely uneven and not, not, you know, not flat, not straight. And so I actually couldn't put the wings on after, and I had to redo uh, the entire main body. But basically, what I did is I glued them, you know, um, kind of in like a really thin V shape, so they come together at the end, so they can support the the rudder and the tail, and the front is wider because that's where the engine and the propeller goes. Now, something I learned from the, my first try doing this is that hot glue dries really quickly. So if you're ever gluing two super long pieces like these together, after you put the glue, you need to immediately put it back on because otherwise the glue will dry and it will be ineffective. I then glued um, the vertical stabilizers onto the tail. And this is super straightforward and fortunately it went off without any instance and it was you know perfectly fine so I didn't have to redo this part. And then came the most challenging part, making the wings. So if you remember, I had one long rectangle in the middle as well as two um, kind of like trapezoid shapes on the sides and I was trying to get those at an angle when they're, when they're glued on and that was hard to do because um, they kept you know falling back down so I had to hold it in place while the glue dried. I also actually ran out of glue in the middle of this process and I had to go to the store and buy some more. But anyways, um, I find that the best way to do this, you know, get having it at an angle is to glue it um, on its, is to put it on its side like this and glue from there. So first of all, I attached it like just with glue in, like front and flat and then I tipped it really quickly while the glue was still not dry yet. And then I put it on the side and put glue into the other end of the crack. That, that sounds really weird, other end. Okay, okay, moving on. I put glue into the other end and then, um, so it was a lot st more stable and then I held it in place until the glue dried. And then after that, I actually had to use tape to um, reinforce the wings. I used packing tape, like the type of tape you use when you're moving, you have to pack up boxes. And it was super strong and stopped the wingtips from going back down. Now, after I finished everything, I was actually really happy with the um, finished product, especially considering the fact that it's my first try at making one of these. And um, here's what the wing looks like after all the gluing is done. So next time, I'll be gluing everything together. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did or if you found it useful, hopefully you subscribe and leave a like down below. Really appreciate the support. And if you have any feedback, comments, suggestions, whatever, well, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. As always, your feedback is really welcome and appreciated. Well, that's it for today. Bye! And before